Well, hello, hello, everybody. Monty here, back playing some more Project Hospital. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping on by. We're going to be getting a uh, day two going on today. Uh, if you just came in from last episode, you're right. That elevator wasn't there. And uh, you would be right saying wasn't the x-rays uh, over here. Well, I uh, I deleted it. Actually, I didn't even reload and redo anything. I actually deleted it. And, uh, boom, radiation up here. Made a little department so we could play day two together. And, uh, made it so you didn't have to watch me build all this out. Restrooms, uh, waiting area, x-rays, staff room, and a, uh, janitor closet with a little walkway, uh, uh, corridor right there. Which, what's the difference between a corridor and a, a, uh, waiting area? I don't know, but they're both green, and they both do stuff like, uh, you know, chairs and such. Anyway, I just wanted to get to it, which is why I'm here doing what we're doing. It's 1900, so the uh, the clinic is actually closed. Uh, we just have uh, the employees still here until 20 on the clock, and then I'm going to be able to fast forward through the night and straight on until morning is what's going to be happening. So I'm excited you guys are coming back for episode two. Want to see what's going on. I've heard uh, some good things. I'd like to see some of you guys' photos on the uh, Facebook page. The Monte Rico Gaming Community. Or, uh, uh, yeah. But let's see what we've got. To, what are our goals? Insurance. We need to treat 20 people, which should be possible because we've got 30 coming in for day two. Uh, and then also we need to reach a 2,000 daily profit at emergency at emergency um so what i'm thinking this episode is we could look around at what we got for emergencies um if we look at rooms we can build which is under prefabs right emergencies uh it's still locked so we can't do any on call or nurse stations or observation rooms or even a trauma center we touched a little bit on radiation upstairs like i said with uh the x-ray room, I'm thinking about adding uh, more rooms as needed. Uh, what I want to do um, in this area, it looks, I don't know, but I'm guessing this is like the emergency stop-off, like where an ambulance would come in. So I'm thinking trauma care, is that what this is? ICU departments will go there. Uh, but for now, we got to just let it run, let some folks come on in. I'm going to speed it up till 8 o'clock. Uh, to open up some more insurance, we do need to open a general surgery department. Uh, that's honestly where I'm thinking about going uh, next, which is the little uh, mask here. Little hat and mask symbol. General surgery, these I can go ahead and build. So what I'm thinking is um, a nice setup of general surgery maybe up here. All around, something like that. Um, and it would need general surgery, common room, restroom, uh, cleaning closet, all that stuff. Because I still don't know if they... It's still weird to me when they're next to each other. Like, I wish that restroom would work for both um, emergency and radiation, for example. Things I'm still trying to figure out or... Um, you know, it makes sense, though. Think about it like a real hospital. Usually you have your radiation department department and emergency department all kind of separated out and uh, that's just not what we're seeing but i want to get some folks in see what kind of sicknesses see what kind of diseases we can bring on in today here we go whoa sorry about that i gotta watch that sensitivity we've got eight hidden symptoms here uh, she's just late late to work jane walker god it sounds like jane walker no singing that uh, adventure game uh, uh, Siberia. The main character is something Walker like that. It could be Jane Walker. I don't know. Kate Miller has got some pain, ankle injury, and joint immobility. And um, see, she could use a CT. She could use a CT scan. Um, we have 29K. Let's see what kind of money that would cost. Radiation. CT room. We would want that upstairs. Um, 
Yeah, see, I'm wondering if it, if I could, if I should cut into this a little bit. Like, have it overlap by two. You know what? I don't think that looks too bad. I know it's a little weird here. Um, but I'd rather have some more room down here for later. But now we've got a CT room. So if I go back... And i got to start setting people as favorites, too. I can do that. Let's, uh... Where'd she go? So now we should be able to do... Oh, no technologist available. I'm going to make you a favorite, though. Because now they pop up down here on this bar, and I could click on them at any time. So let's go upstairs... Let's go management and hire a technologist with radiation skills. Uh, master scientist, Michael Hill. Next is Bobby Hill. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now let's click on our favorite. All our money's now gone. Um, Didn't you used to have a CT option available? What did I miss? What happened there? Oh, look at that. CT scan. Oh, I almost wanted to send him on a CT scan just for funsies. Oh, it went away because they figured out what was wrong. So there was absolutely no need to continue on down those paths. Triage, triage and the reception. Receptionists can assign a higher priority to patients based on their symptoms. Oh, didn't realize that. Patient got worse because of wrong diagnosis was treated. Frank Gonzalez. Frank Gonzalez has been having a rough time. He's coming on in, though, to get taken care of. Oh, you guys remember the, uh, the wrong uh, diagnosis of the leg uh, contusion? I remember that. That was in the old x-ray lab. He's back. Got to make Frank, uh, Frank happy here. There's our first patient cured. He had Raynaud syndrome, uh, syndrome, which is, <coughs> excuse me, finger numbness, cyanosis, hand pains. Complete physical examination of the payment patient of the payment found classic symptoms suggest of Raynaud's disease. Wow, what does that require? Medication that relaxes blood vessels. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'd like to see somebody, though, go upstairs and use CT room or uh, something like that. What do we have going on here? X-ray of the lower limb. No big deal. That's still Kate Miller waiting on uh, what she's got going on. I'm a little bit of swelling. Swelling is usually a good thing, right? Kind of shows that it's most likely not a break. So they say... So other things I'm wondering is, should we bring on a second receptionist? Like, will it really help? I'm not having a bottleneck on that part of the game. Uh, and then I'm also wondering, do we bring in... Oh yeah, we do. I'm going to bring in another doctor. Who's good at diagnosis, hopefully. So we're going to bring in Patricia Lewis. Very nice. So now we have three doctors... Who's our favorite? Who's our favorite? Waiting for Charles Martin, who is hanging out where? Hmm. I don't know. Do I have Elizabeth King? None. Uh, John. John Smiths. Oh. Chief doctors add daily bonus to the staff on respective departments. I Why can I not? I'm so confused. Oh, you know why? It's because I don't have a doctor in the radiation de uh, department. Just technologists. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to also say... High certainty on radiology. We don't want to mess around there anymore. We had some problems yesterday. No one's getting CT scans today. X-ray department's kind of running, though. There we go. Now we're going to be calling in uh, Kate Miller any second. Right? Right? No. Kate Miller getting priority thrown to the side. 
Barbara Lopez must have an in somewhere. What's her deal? What does she know? Oh, yeah, triage in the reception. So I guess going to reception. Better than taking a number, getting that uh, preferential treatment. All right, we're going to have some new things going on. What do we got? Thomas Jefferson. No. Daniel Hernandez. You got some problems going on, so you need to do a little bit of PCR testing. We could go send him to a CT scan just for the fun of it. Interesting, cause just because we've never done it. But I think they're already working on the testing of this sample here, so let's see how this goes. All right, dropping it off. Put it in the bio-decontamination uh, container. Washing those hands. Favorite patient has been diagnosed. Let's go to it. Uh, okay. I'm, I gotta say... Look at that. So final diagnostic was ankle contusion before she even got x-rayed. Interesting. It's a little early. Let's see how the x-ray turns out. And... And now we got multiple things going on. I wanted to see how is this testing going. Oh, it's still still going. Uh, lab procedure uncovered a new symptom of the favorite patient ankle contusion. All right. I'm going to trust it. Seems like we figured it out. I bet that was a little buggish. I don't think it should have called that as uh, figured out before she actually got the x-ray done. You guys decide. Uh, Fraser Green. Not eating his greens, I don't know. It's getting called up, though, looks like it. Who are you talking about? Who you be talking about? Uh, yeah. Fraser Green. Must be getting called up. At least that's what we have, like, the picture of you over here. But you're wearing... Not... Oh, it's this guy. I'm like, you're not wearing an orange shirt. Blood test... Uh, you know what? I think. Man, actually. I'm wondering if I should hire another, uh, uh, nurse or, uh, technician here. I, I, I mean. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Final diagnostic. Nice. Jessica's getting dealt with. So, we're only two hours into the day. I'm not going to speed it up too much yet, so I think. I think, I think we're going to do all right, but we are broke. I need to uh, make some more cash here. Let it run. See how we're doing. Oh, nasal cavity inspection. What else could we do here? We could do a procedure with a flexible tube. Wow, medium. let's try not to do too much discomfort. Guess that's a good tactic. Kind of do the low discomfort test first. Probably keeps the star rating up. Germaphobe washes hands three times just to be sure. Good man, Frank Gonzalez. I hopefully, hopefully, the numbing ointment and uh, analgesics. I don't know what that is. Uh, to relieve pain. Hopefully that gets him dealt with. Pay me my money. 400 bucks. Holy moly. And we just misdiagnosed him the other day. We don't play around. Zoe noticed that. We're, uh, what was it? It was like a nasal spray for like $90. Oh my goodness. That guy's not paying for nothing. So we are getting to a point where I'm wondering, ah, oh, do I hire that fourth doctor? Because look at this, we've got a lot of people waiting. So I think I'm going to make that call. We do have 30 people in. Let me think about that. 30 versus... Um, what do we got? Diagnostics. Ooh, 86%. You are a specialist. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, she could cause some drama with the other one. That's just too expensive. I don't think I can make that jump. We're going to go with Jordan Moore. We need to get a resident in. We have we have 
our uh, top top dog and Elizabeth King. Elizabeth King. All right, there we go. Back to play. That'll help. Look at all these people hanging out. Waiting to get more testing done. God, just waiting on an interview. Patricia Lewis. See, all these people are getting... No, you're Elizabeth King. We could change their doctor as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, these guys, I wish I could check on some things to uh, get them dealt with pretty quick. But Wow, okay. Doing the sampling of the uh, microbials. I got you. Viral tonsillitis. We've been having a lot of tonsillitis, it feels like, in the last day or two. J David Johnson, you'll be all right, buddy. Man, so if we have money, I don't see. I want to go look at the building stuff, but I know that will pause the game. So we're just going to stay in here and check out how things are going. I'm glad we didn't hire someone else in the, uh, what you call it? What do you call it? The stat lab. What is that button? F5. God, that's an autosave button in other games. At least it's not an auto load. 400 bucks. I'll take it. What What was your deal? Another leg contusion. Man, what you folks doing? Circus is in town or something. Jeez, wow, we got a lot of folks walking by. Are you guys all patients or are you guys just, just walking by the hospital? They're just walking by the hospital. The clinic. Favorite patient has been treated. It's about time. 400 bucks cash on the way out. So I know we're short on money. I don't want to take out a loan because I think we're going to be able to hit the bonuses, which is a $20,000 government grant and hospitalization at the emergency room. So reaching this will open up more choices in the emergency, which is, that's pretty cool as well. I'm hoping we're going to be able to add more floors as well to this so we could even add on more levels. As we go, but that's thinking ahead, because uh, it's only day two. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, Lyme disease. That'll mess with your nerves. Lyme disease is caused by a bite of a deer tick or back-legged tick. Huh. It can transfer a bacteria. Wow. Borrelia burgdorferia, which directly causes disease. And you had chicken pox. Close enough. Man, right to it. What was that? The, uh, figure that out just from physical examination. Charles Martin, well done. 90 bucks for a chicken pox vaccination. Get insurance, folks. Come on now. Get insurance. That uninsured is, uh, that's rough stuff. Chicken pox, though, you want to get that dealt with. That's not like some allergies. Skip the $90 nasal spray. Um... Really? You gotta go. Everyone wants to go see Elizabeth King. Five more patients for 20k. How are we doing upstairs? Anybody waiting around up here? No. Just costing us the money. Costing us the money. Leg injuries. All right, we already know what's wrong with you. We already know what's wrong with you. You just got cured of what? Ooh, you had that beef tapeworm. Beef tapeworm are parasitic flatworms living in the digestive system of humans. Cattle act as an intermediate host when they consume fodder or water contaminated with human feces. Gross. Eating undercooked beef can cause infection. Gross cows. Don't do that. All right. Um, what's this guy on his phone about? Is he writing a review about us or something? Oh, you know what? Oh, oh. by the way, 
Are you guys watching this on your Switch? I saw that the Nintendo Switch just got YouTube today. Or yesterday, or whatever. So, Robbie, if you're out there. All right, reward, 20K government grant. There it is, I'll take that cash. Fraser Green, I remember him walking in. Shingles or rat bite fever? Get that transport fever. You guys didn't know that's how you get transport fever? It's from that rat bite. Oh, man. I had my fever cured for a little bit, but I'm feeling like a relapse. I'm feeling like I'm going to be uh, getting that transport fever again sometime soon. Oh, it was shingles. Must be a roofer. All right. What are we going to do with this guy? This guy is like, his disease is like way too close. He has no personal space of... Uh, Oh, it's another Renaud syndrome. Never, we didn't see this on day one. I'm wondering what's going around town. What are these? Oh, it's next patient. Next patient. I wonder if they have plans to work on these to where the signs actually tell people when they come in. I know there's like little icons and stuff. All the little details are pretty cool. I will probably spend some times in future days or maybe even a different series where uh, I don't always plan to, you know, off-camera build rooms. I'm going to build some rooms. I've only done prefabs, though. That's why it hasn't been that interesting. Uh, but when we when we custom build out some stuff, uh, we will uh, we'll have some more fun with it. Now, plus, I've been finally figuring out little simple ways of... For example, here is where you zone. You just click on that and then zone it based on clicking on the little buttons on the left. I was always trying to figure that out, and then there's the remove rooms. So, figured out how to get my zones away. That was kind of a thing. Man, what is it? 1520. We're getting kind of far into the day. We still have eight more folks to heal. I haven't forced an examination yet. Everything has been... Uh, Self-manage. Those people are already all done. Four hidden symptoms. Uh, Thomas Hill. Gonna go see Patricia Lewis. And this guy's really... He's gonna get his fungal cultivation on. Uh, as soon as we get... Uh, Jane Lewis. Get yourself back to your workplace. Employed two days... She's in it for the long haul. Are you good? You're happy, right? Oh, no. Well, you you better... You got the uh, anti-helmintix. That should... Uh, that's going to go get that uh, tapeworm. It's going to hunt it down. The Amazing Journey. What do we have for our next uh, objective for another 20k government grant is to treat 30 patients, which we could pull off. I am really not sure how we're doing on money. Total, total, total. Is this profit? Yesterday. And the problem is, is because of building. Yeah, it's all about the buildings that cost so much. So we're going to have to have a day where we don't build just to, uh, I think, win over those profits. That's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, what do you got? Thorax percussion. How would I test this? Offices diagnostic, uh, diagnostic units at general surgery department, internal medicine, or cardiology. Yeah, I don't have, I can't do EEGs, no echoes, no USGs, actually. I do believe that is in the... The CAG room? But if I if I just looked at items here... See, you could really... Like, I could probably... Now, I don't know if I could do this. Would I be able to build a room that has the CT and the X-ray room? See, that's where I've really got to start uh, playing around with stuff. EMG, fast USG. Emergency... Equipment for the emergency and ICU. Yeah, so we can't... Uh, I don't think we can use that. We'll see. Sarah Barkley, I'm going to make you a favorite, just because. Just Procedures have finished. 
Uh, the patient is waiting for you to plan another examination or select a diagnostic. That's because really quick it was in uh, player controlled. I'm going to say... Let's do a... Uh, ooh, blood draw. Basically, because we've got a lot of blood issues here, I think a blood draw is going to uh, help figure that out. But yeah, you're a favorite, so we're going to find out what happens there. So favoriting is cool, especially if you get a larger hospital and you want to move around and such. Um, it's going to work out nice. See, now I am running... Worried. Uh, where's our technologist? Oh, in the restroom. Okay. Scientist, I mean. Sorry. Different education. My bad, my bad. Uh, that's where I guess having two, same with receptionist, like right now a receptionist goes on break and then everything kind of like, no one can check in, it's, it's a horrible thing. No one upstairs. Not much going down today. She's waiting on her blood sampling, right? Correct. I'm very curious, Sarah, how your testing is going to work out. Here we go, you're going to hand off your sample. Bloop, turn in your number. We're not going to actually see them draw the blood. For those worried and wheezy. Wheezy. Woozy. Um, at the sight of blood. Could be. Could be. We don't know. And 1700. We only have 45 minutes left to figure it out. But we just completed another insurance objective of 30 pati patients in a day. So that's another 20k. But we only have 30 minutes to finish this blood test. Which, it looks like we have some results. Come on. Oh, yep. Nope, you're going to the restroom. Someone else had... What's... What, what? Oh, you want to talk to Charles Jackson. Charles Jackson? How'd your fungus work out? Nail fungus. Called it. I'm calling it immediately. So he'll just go get paid. Or pay us. $140 for your naily fungusy na 180 bucks. Wow. Just to put some cream on it. Put some cream on it. We got 10 minutes. I don't think we're going to draw the blood yet in time. No. No. Too slow. Now, <clears throat> what I wonder about is with her sad face there, which is only the one person who didn't get helped. Will she be back tomorrow? That's what I'm curious about. In day three, will Sarah come back? I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys know. But uh, looking, on, I just looked over and saw that uh, we're... It's, it's that time. It's that time for Monty to go back in his cage for the day. And I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, because uh, if not, they won't let me back out. And um, help me. No. It's all fun. It's all fun. They just make me play video games all day. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But on that note, folks, what I'm going to do is keep on keeping on. You guys do the same. A little bit of Monte Rico gaming on your weekend. Have a great one. And I'll catch you catch on the flip. Peace.